Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, Software Engineering Geek, and today I'm going to be talking about how to install Grails. So this is just going to be a very quick video because installing Grails is essentially the same as installing Groovy. Uh, essentially, I would use the GVM if you're on uh, a you know Linux-based system or uh, you know, a Mac-based system. Uh, you can use Posh GVM if you're on Windows. Uh, you can actually use GVM on Windows if you're using Segwin, I believe. Uh, so that's one way to do it, and that's the way I'm going to show you how to do it. You can also just download it, put it on your path. Of course, you'll need to have Java installed, just as uh, I showed in uh, my other uh, installing Groovy video, have that on the path. You'll have to have a Grails home, just as you would have to have a Groovy home and a Java home variable uh, set up. So all that, you know, would be taken care of if you use JVM, uh, GVM or uh, Posh GVM. So going over to GVM, which uh, basically its installation is this. You run this on the command line and boom, you have the GVM and this you know shows you its usage so if we wanted to do GVM LS Grails which will just show us a list and it'd be good if I type that Grails it shows you all of the available versions and if I want to install a version I could just go GVM I for install Grails and then do the version and that'll kick that off and running. Uh, I'm not going to actually show that because it takes a while to actually download. Um, and just to reference it, uh, I will put in a link to my previous video, which goes a little bit further and shows you how to uh, set up Java and stuff like that. I think I talked about a little bit about that, but essentially it's the same idea very easy to get up and running uh, if you use the GVM otherwise you have to put it on your path as you would and set the variables as you would when you install Java so that's pretty much it for now